Welcome to RK Tutorials, Solutions to Engineering Mechanics by S. Timoshenko, 5th edition. In this tutorial, we will discuss problem set 2.5 and problem number 2.67. A prismatic bar AB of weight Q is equal to 17.8 kN is hinged to a vertical wall at A and supported at B by cable BC as shown in the figure. Determine the magnitude and direction of the reaction at hinge A and the tensile force S yes, in the cable BC. The direction of the bar and the cable are shown in the figure. That means there is a prismatic bar AB and it is tied with a cable BC as shown in this figure. Our interest is to find the reaction RA and the force in the string BC. For that, we will discuss what are the various forces acting on this prismatic bar AB. Here it is given that it is a hinged support. Hinged support will introduce two reactions. One is the horizontal reaction RH and let the vertical reaction is RV. Initially we are assuming these two directions are like this. If we get positive values, these directions are right. If we get negative values, these directions are needs to change. The self weight is Q that is 17.8 and there is a force along the string BC and initially we are assuming that it is a tensile force and it is away from the point B. Yeah, this is the free body diagram of the prismatic bar A. Now, given that BC makes an angle 30 with the prismatic bar AB. Hence, S makes an angle 30 with the AB. Also given that this AB makes an angle 60 with the vertical. Hence, this prismatic bar AB makes an angle 60 with the vertical. So, S makes an angle 30 with the vertical. So, with this, uh, with this uh, information, now we will try to resolve this S along vertical axis and along horizontal axis. So the vertical component is S cos 30 and the horizontal component is S sin 30. And also given that this distance is L by 2 and this distance is L by 2 because the total length is given as L and weight is acting at the exactly at the center. Hence we can consider that this distance is L by 2 and this distance is L by 2. Now the first equilibrium equation let us apply that sigma fx is equal to 0. There are two forces acting along x axis hence i can say rh minus s sin 30 is equal to 0 or i can say rh is equal to s sin 30 let this equation is equation number 1 let us consider the second equilibrium equation sigma fy is equal to 0 there are three forces are acting along vertical axis now rv is vertical and s cos 30 is vertical so rv plus S yes, cos 30 is equal to 17.8. So let this equation is number 2. Now to apply the equilibrium equation, we can take the moment about any point. So if you consider the moment about point A, then RH and RV is passing through this point, these two moments becomes 0. So now I am going with the moments, taking moment about A. Now 17.8 will introduce a moment like this. S sin 30 will introduce a moment like this about this point and S cos 30 will introduce a moment. Okay. Now, S cos 30, this, I am taking moments about point A. Now, S cos 30 will introduce a moment in this direction. So, the magnitude is force into the perpendicular distance. Perpendicular distance is this much. So, by using this right angle triangle, so this length is L and this angle is 60, you can say this is L sin 60. Hence the moment produced by S cos 30 is equal to S cos 30 into L sin 60 and the direction clearly we can say in this direction, this is counterclockwise. <clears throat> Same is the case with S sin 30, so this will introduce a moment in this direction because I am taking the moments about point A and force into the perpendicular. This is the line of action of our S sin 30 
and the meaning of perpendicular distance means this distance is the perpendicular distance. Now, by considering the same right angle triangle, by considering the same this uh, right angle triangle, I can find this height as L cos 60. S cos 30 into L sin 60. So, this is the moment produced by S cos 30 force and this is positive because anti-clockwise will be considered as positive and clockwise is considered as negative. So, S cos 30 into L sin 60 minus S sin 30 into the perpendicular distance L cos 60 plus 17.8. This also will introduce the moment like this multiplied with so here this is the line of action and this is the distance this is the perpendicular distance so if you consider a small right angle triangle here this distance is l by 2 and this is 60 hence this becomes l by 2 sin 60 so it is 17.8 into the perpendicular distance is l by 2 into sin 60 so upon simplification i will get S yes is equal to 15.42 kilonewtons. I am getting positive value. That means the initial assumed direction of this S yes is correct. Once you know the value of S, yes, I can find the RH value from equation 1. That is RH is equal to S yes sin 30 or RH is equal to 7.71 .71 kilonewtons. From equation 2, I can find the value of RV. RV is equal to 17.8 minus S yes cos 30 and I will get 4.44. Since I know the value of Rh and Rv, and I can find the value of Ra square root under Rh square plus Rv square, which gives the value of 8.89 kilonewtons. And the angle made by that Ra, that is theta, 4.44 divided by 7.77, that is theta is equal to 30 degrees to the horizontal. So the reaction at A is something like this, which makes an angle 30 the horizontal is the answer for the given problem.